Mabuhay! Hello, future nation builders! Welcome to BASC Group 1 Oral Presentation. A pleasant day to all of you. I am Sharina Jemsi San Mateo, a fourth-year Bachelor of Elementary Education student. I am honored to represent our institution, the Bulacan Agricultural State College. After the orientation held last January 31, 2022, our team leader took an initiative to conduct a meeting to plan out the lesson and instructional materials to be created. Finally, we decided to use the digestive system in curriculum guide of grade 6. Our technology-based instructional materials are called process, processing, process. Digestion works well. As you can see on the screen, listed below are my hardworking group mates. So now, let's move to the benefits of our technology-based instructional materials to students and to teachers. Number one, it encourages active participation. This kind of instructional materials are enticing and it can catch the attention of the, of the students to be involved in the learning process since they are the one to manage this kind of student-led classroom. The more the students show active participation, the more they will grasp the lesson. For number two, it provides immersive learning. Since the pandemic happened, educators and other departments in education were challenged to think of a better solution to still provide a quality education. In this kind of setup, we cannot recommend using traditional classroom full of lectures and teacher-centered approach, so that alongside the emerging modern technology, this immersive learning can provide the students more hands-on experiences and discovery of their own learning. Number three, it integrates various learning styles. As a future teacher, we should always consider all the students in our classroom. It is our duty to know their capabilities and hidden skills to develop using different approaches and methods. And according to Howard Gardner, the theory of multiple intelligences, that intelligence is not about just the um, intellectual potential, but there are eight multiple intelligences that can be utilized in our classroom. So now let's move to the benefits of this instructional materials to the teachers. Number one, it provides easier way of teaching and it is cost effective. Why? Through instructional materials, the students can establish their own learning by viewing the multiple instructional materials. The teacher will only facilitate and guide the students. There are a lot of available resources in the internet that can be useful in making technology-based materials. For number two, it improves quality of teaching. The importance of preparing instructional materials to the teacher is to support the discussion of the subject matter. The students will acquire a better understanding of the lesson with the aid of instructional materials. These materials can provide practical and hands-on experiences that can develop their skills in real-life situations. And lastly, it can give immediate feedback. In the evaluation that we have made, the multiple choices and the labeling parts of the digestive system gives immediate feedback that assesses the knowledge that will improve the student's learning. So in addition, you can also identify the strengths and weaknesses of the instructional methods used in this lesson. Our first IM. This IM tends to have a fair distribution of recitation among the students. This roulette made by Mr. Rodney contains the name of the student and whoever lined with the lucky arrow will be called to recite. In making this instructional material, Mr. Rodney used the PowerPoint presentation. Using MS PowerPoint presentation, Ms. Bless generated boxes for the game's title, 
questions, and even answers. I am number three. Mr. Ronald created this material by means of PowerPoint. A good background is a mass. Then he put transitions, music, and sound effects in each slide. For our I am number four, the digestive system song. Our very own Miss Joey Wang V2 composed an original song wherein the digestion process was briefly discussed. Item number five, the animation. The digestive system animation is made through an app called Flip a Clip by Miss Caitlin and edited on KineMaster by Miss Andrea. This was made possible by their skills in using the said apps. I am number six, the digestive gut talent was obviously inspired to a talent show. At this case, the background, music, and design must be look alike to a real talent show. There are some GIFs that is in the PowerPoint presentation. Then a group of pictures of children will be shown. The last instructional material for the evaluation. First off, I created a five-item multiple choice and five-item labeling of the parts of the digestive system in an MS PowerPoint presentation. For the compilation and consultation. Mr. Rodney, our team leader, ensured that all parts of our instructional material were good and worked well. He edited, inspected, and tried part by part to see the effects, transitions, animations, and hyperlink. Now, let's proceed in trying out our technology-based instructional materials. Are you ready? So, let's do it now. For our first instructional materials, the roulette made by Mr. Rodney. To start this one, let's click in the middle. To spin the wheel and click again to stop it. And it will reveal uh, the student's name. So let's proceed in clicking play now. For this one, this is our review game show. There are several questions that is related about the integumentary system. The first question, what is the largest organ in the body? So, if you can if you will click bones letter A, it will it will red because it is incorrect, but if you will click B, the skin it will turn green because it is the correct answer. And for now, let's click next with this orange color. Then click play now to proceed to another question. And the, uh, another question, what vitamins does the integumentary make? Is it letter A, vitamin B? Let's try. Let's see. No, it's incorrect. So let's try letter C, vitamin D. Wow, it turned green because it is the correct answer. And now, let's proceed to the third instructional material. Okay, now let's proceed to our third instructional materials, which is the food friend game made by Mr. Brian Vitalista. If you will click on the screen, the title will show and let's click again to show the roulette. Click in the middle to pick a student. And click again to stop and select one. Okay, let's click play now to proceed to the next slide. And now, we will reveal the foods that the students will going to pick if it's bad or good for our body. Which foods are good for our body. Here are the given choices. There are a lot of foods to be picked by the pupils. So, let's pick one, which is the apple. Mm. Is it good or bad? So let's see. Okay. It is correct. And now, let's end the game and proceed to the other instructional material. Next is our digestive this song. Made by Joey Vito. Let's listen well. Are you ready? Come on, let's sing. So this song will tackle about the digestive system and its organ. Also put lyrics below so the students will hear. Let's discover or let's explore what's digestive. 
how it works. What the parts are and what the part. Let's see how they function. Okay, now let's proceed to the fifth um, instructional materials that we have made. The animation. Let's click on the screen. For better understanding, let's watch the animation video. Okay, next click again. And please click watch now so we can proceed to the video. And here it is. This is the animation of the digestive system for our discussion Hi. part. Are you wondering how the digestive system works? Come with me and let's explore how food is being processed in the digestive system. Let's start. Digestive process begins with the mouth before food even touch your tongue. Once you start chewing with your saliva, it helps to turn food into moist lump. The enzymes present in the saliva helps to break down starch in the food. Then, down the rim of 25 cm tube called esophagus. And now let's proceed to our sixth instructional materials which is the digestive gut talent. Let's click on the screen to show. Hold your breath because today, seven students will become stars. But for now, uh, we will pick two students for this one. Okay, let's click. Let's bring it up. The red button to proceed. So this is the digestive gut talent. Let's click on the screen again. Here's the instruction for our game. Okay, again, let's choose uh, two students to, uh, to perform their talent. Let's click in the middle of the screen. Then click again to stop. Okay, let's pick another one. Okay. Click again to stop and it will reveal the student's knee. Okay, now let's proceed to the next part. The students will choose their lucky number. So each number uh, corresponds with different organs of the digestive system. If I will pick one, it will reveal the anus and the student will showcase the talent according to its function. Now it will be. Okay, now let's click back at the lower part. And let's click to start the show. So, in this portion, the student now, the student will now show their talent to their classmates. After that, please click and show to end uh, the digestive gut talent. And now, let's proceed to the evaluation. It's quiz time! Please click start to proceed. What are the three organs that are responsible for the secretion of juices and absorption of nutrients? Hmm, what it will be? Is it letter D? Okay, so the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder. Okay, now let's proceed. Please click the part two so we can move uh, forward to the last part of this evaluation. Okay, now let's proceed to our part two, labeling the digestive system. And with this one, I pasted an illustration without the label or parts of the digestive system. And if I will click number one, and it should be in ascending order, one to five. It will reveal stomach that will, uh, four and five, which is the large intestine. And this is the last part of our instructional materials. Okay, now let's proceed to the next part. Please click next. Congratulations, you made it. This is our last instructional materials. Thank you so much for listening. This is BASC Group 1.